Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today, we're going to be installing Game Analytics SDK into our BuildBox game. And before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know what kind of videos you would like to see. Okay, so game analytics is a pretty big deal. You should definitely have this installed in every game you put out there. Game analytics, Facebook, SDK, and then whatever kind of advertising mediation tool you're using. That way you can see, you know, who's playing your game, how long they're playing your game, and to try to maximize any kind of monetization that you have from these games. Buildbox actually has a helpful link that I will post down below that goes through the process I'll be going through. First thing you want to do is sign up for game analytics. It's free and you just go through the steps, put in your email, and then activate your account. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. Today we're going to be doing iOS and then you should also have the game already up on the on your app connect and then you want to enter the bundle identifier then here you just select iOS and then you download the SDK for game analytics then this is in BuildBox where you export it to iOS which I've already done and then you go into the file here we need to take the game analytics and put it into our framework within Xcode so let's just jump and do that okay so here we have the game analytics framework here I have Xcode open. Let's take this framework and I move it over here under the framework folder. And make sure you select copy items if needed. Sometimes this is unselected, so you want to make sure it's there. Okay, great. Now let's go back and follow the steps. Drag item, just did that. Now we want to go to app delegate mm. Okay, we want to copy this code. So I'm actually, before I copy the code, I'm going to open up a text editor because sometimes when you copy code from one screen to another screen, especially if it's like a word page, you don't get all the proper syntax. So, I mean, this, this looks good. The, what I'm actually looking for right here is the, the commas or the quote. Sometimes Microsoft Word has a different quote than text editing does, which can severely make things not work. So we go here and then we include this above right there so let's find it okay so that's done inside the function did launch with options please put these lines of code this is for debugging purposes which is not what I want to do right now so I'm not gonna put in the debugging one set version okay this is just to keep track of what version it is and here I have some Facebook stuff gonna put it right here and this one I think is this version. See like here we went to this game analytics initialize. Now you have a secret. Okay, so here this is important. This is what I was talking about earlier. They actually in this doc it's it's incorrect because they have these wrong quotations. This, this is different than this. And this is a world of difference. This is literally this, everything breaks. This quote, everything works. If you're new to coding, this is just a simple typo that's a huge deal. So there's a typo on this page. Then you want to enter your game key and your secret key. This can be found within your game analytics. So you just have to look around for it. And then you want to add some of these possibly. You want to make sure you put it in the right place. Let's go ahead and void screen on enter. So let's find this. Scroll down and screen on enter. So let's go and make faces. Now my game specifically has a lot to do with score. So I want to make sure I put score. So let's make sure we get this right. Put that there. Score. Now I'm only going to do current score uh, whenever I try to do current score and best score I get an error that will not let me complete the build so that's bad so we don't want that. Definitely need to have this uh, track when the game ends this is super important. There we go. Grab all this and then put it right below here. And everything looks good. There's no bug. According to this documentation, you can hit play and then you'll see that you have an active user. It looks like right now I have 
three active users. I'm gonna go in and add my secret key and my regular key and then upload this to the app store. This is actually pretty simple and straightforward. And in the last two days, I've probably done this maybe like 10 times. These are just important SDK analytics that you want to have in your game. And so you need to go through this process, even just for your own sake to get into this pattern. Great, so if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for tutorials, please let me know. Yeah, and until then, I will see you next time.